Uh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to AI the Summoning Files. When we left off, we've come to a Yakuza den. Had a little tussle. Had a little bit of a had a little bit of a tussle, aided by Iba, trying Figured to out find there was uh, someone that was this here. extra person who appears to, uh, and his name is So, and he appears to be a uh, a congressman of some kind. So, what are you doing with the Yakuza, dog? Yeah, uh, what are you doing here? Let me just look at him quick. It's so Sejima, a member of Congress. I see him so often on TV, it feels like I've met him before. Well, what are you doing here? I love this music. <laughs> I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. It doesn't seem like it should be your voice. <laughs> I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you going to spin that? <laughs> It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. Okay. But we haven't done anything illegal. Right. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. Huh. Do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? <laughs> That's so I specific. Chance, then went home. Where's work? So, you have no alibi. No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. Yeah. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. About Renju, do you know who that is? The president <laughs> of Lemniscate? Yeah, that guy. We aren't friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Mm, debatable! So standing here looking rather irritated. Um... Oh, Jesus oh Christ, God. you're right there. That Hi. was... <laughs> the what? look on his face. Well, look at the phone. There's a telephone on the desk. Jesus God, Christ. turned into a horror game for and a the second. The keyboard. The keyboard. MoMA. Jeez. Uh, Why does he seem so short? <laughs> I mean, apparently he is because he's standing right next to us. He's not sitting down. He's standing, so. Yeah. Boy, we're fucking massive. You have an alibi for yesterday day before? Mm -hmm. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. Okay. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. Huh. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. All right. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Well, shit. Including Moma. <laughs> well, that holds up. A bell rend you! I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's hmm. dead, though. What work did he have you do? Yeah. Hmm. Eh, the usual. If What's talent usual? at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Okay. Huh. About oh. Shoko. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. All right. I lied earlier when I said I didn't know her. <gasps> Shocking. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> you and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. She looks like she would be. <laughs> yeah. Not Rohan. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah. He's What's terrible. it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. 
Rohan was my oh. older brother. Oh. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh... He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. Private eye. I mean, we kind of technically are a private eye. <laughs> yeah. Mama's giving me a glare. I was literally a private eye. <laughs> yeah. Um, huh. Is there anything else that we get? Oh, there's something new for so about Shoka. That wasn't there before, so. The victim prior to Renju? I believe MoMA introduced me to her. Introduced? So they've met too. We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Yep. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. You fuckers have to wait for now. We can't exactly interrogate oh. who's a member of Congress. A call from Mumbiscate. <laughs> what? Connected. Oh. It's the fucking secretary. The receptionist. Okay. That's right. Hey. Hi. Um, you remember, like, how you said to call you if I would take him? Yeah. Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Thanks. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Iva. Roger. It's like, you're going to be back? <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> All right, Telemnus Gate. So we can deal with Oda. God. Never the hell he's going to bring along. <sighs> the sunset. Ooh. This is all oh, really car. suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Uh, oh, oh, you're sitting over there. Even though I don't even see anything over here, but I'm just gonna look at all my other stuff. Wheel, steering wheel, dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. confessionals, center console. Center console. Glove box. The glove box. All right. Mirror. No one's sitting in the back. <laughs> mirror. You can see the ceiling through your window. And no one to be seen. All right. All right, Iva. Who are you? <laughs> Scream like a little girl. Roar like a lion. <laughs> Warn careful. Scream like a little girl. Ah! Oh, my God. Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? <laughs> so shiny, too. You utter idiot. <laughs> it's me. Renju? <laughs> it's <not a> <laughs> It's me. Boss. Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that. I was thinking if I should have said it. You must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway, let's not talk about right, that. But right. <laughs> Why are you here, looking like that? Looking like I just thought I would forget myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Huh? You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? <laughs> well, about that. Uh... About your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. Yeah. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, yeah, you got that yes. little thing. Yeah. Yes, that. <laughs> yeah, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so. Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? <laughs> Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. <laughs> I will not. God damn. Why not? <laughs> because I won't. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna have to get used to this look. <laughs> I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. Nah, shit's perfect, yo. <laughs> I just wanted to change my look a little. 
think of it as a haircut. That's a pretty drastic haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna look? Apparently, I was sitting in the passenger seat. All right. Some of them are suspicious. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious. But there is nothing currently linking them to the case. Yeah, it's true. we can't do anything about it. We have no it. established motive. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling. And their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They mm. could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. How was so related to the Kumakuras? I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. Alright. See? However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. The Most rumor does come out. Oh, no. Gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Absolutely. Please. Mm. Oh. Now are they related? Mr. Is he Bigfoot? Currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. Of course he does. But 20 Dang. years ago, <laughs> So Sejima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district, to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Hmm. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. And then entirely collapsed in front <laughs> of him. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion of the chemical plant. This caused Kawasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Dang. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. Yeah. Uh -huh. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. Lay it on me. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. Yep. Huh. Doing like a fucking cryptocurrency rug pull on this <laughs> one, aren't you? So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and one billion yen of land. Wow. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. Uh, he got 29 billion yen <laughs> into his pocket. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Oh, well... Dang it. Uh, we will have to continue this conversation later. But it's important info! Call from headquarters. Oh. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? Uh, yes. My name is Akasuka <laughs> from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. Okay. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Okay. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. Okay. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. Oh. In other words. You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Appreciate it. Huh. Yeah, and he also... Do you think there's anything to this? I mean, I don't know how much information is public, but he knew the fact that whoever is doing it takes the eyes out before killing them. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much people in prison here get news. But, but even <laughs> then, I don't know how much the news knows about that, because I thought that was all stuff that was learned after the fact from investigating. I don't know if they've said any of that on the news. To me, it's just like, dead, found in a merry-go-round. But, uh, 
I don't know. Perfect. Mm. We should probably go investigate it then. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going right now, though? Uh, we were going to meet Oda. That's right. At Lemnus Gate. At 5.59. All that drama happened. I forgot where we were headed. Oh, hi. hi. Date. Hi, buddy. Hey. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. So you look so sad. Yeah. Yeah. I just found out online. A corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mizuki saw her own mom. And you left her there. <laughs> and I just... I just left her. Yep. Like a little bitch, yes. <laughs> but I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. You shouldn't have left to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it was her mom oh, or man, not. <sighs> plant? Potted plant. Date, look, a little <gasps> stink bug. <laughs> Yay, a stink bug. <sighs> I was tensing to get excited about bugs. She's so cute. <laughs> Potted plant. Anything about the... The abstract painting that on display. That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. I was told a different thing yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> that covers the abstract painting is on display. I think everyone's going to tell me something different every single time. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Window? It's a large window. Most of the stuff probably isn't going to have changed much. Because this is the company's logo, let me skate. And then that's... Maybe that reception has changed. Desk? That's reception desk. He's going to double check some stuff. Oh, Monitor. that's room to wear. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rundoir's video is playing, apparently. <laughs> Don't know who the fuck that is. It's a door. Probably an office back there. High table. High the vending machine. Lots of different drinks. What's on the magazine rack today? Featured how to get rich with cryptocurrency. Oh, my God. Wow, the irony of that one coming up, Clutch. <laughs> I'll definitely be taking that one. Oh, man. That's funny. Lots of magazines in the rack. What are the odds? It's modern. Nothing's on it. Sofa? One more bowl, please. Soba. That would be Soba. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It's Soba. All right. Uh, oh wait, we, we gotta do the we gotta I do the high school. Just thought of Simon Blackwell. That's just a high school. Soba. <laughs> what about high school? Oh my god. I said stool. No, don't connect with me, receptionist. <laughs> I told you you need brains first. <laughs> How you doing now? Uh. Let's just, just look just, first. There's just straight up ear. Oh my god. Wow. The girl with the big tits is sitting behind the counter. Wow. <laughs> yes, that's what I've decided to call her. Not to her face, of course. Jesus Christ, Dante. Bold move. <sighs> you're cute. <laughs> you get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. Oh no. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my god. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. Huh. Yeah, she's a little older than us. You're <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. then. Uh, do, do you food? want to get some food sometime? <laughs> you now, that's awfully aggressive. What? Is You're it? an alpha type, aren't you? I kind of like that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? All right. I kind of like you. Oh my god. Oh, oh but god. There is one little thing you should know about me. I'm horrified. I'm a reptilian. Uh Is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Lizard people. Oh, too bad. I Oh, I I I, Number one, thanks I, for the call. Was she kidding? No I, After all, I hope so. We get to see each other again. <laughs> oh God! I'm glad. Why is there so much of that? Oh, he's just thinking so long before he says anything. He's like, "Wait, I'm supposed to talk to you." I wasn't listening. I was staring, respect, uh, disrespectfully staring. Yeah, he would be. <laughs> Where is Iris? She's still downstairs. She's recording a podcast right now. She's always recording a podcast. Her schedule. It should end soon. That's hey, probably why I was here. Tits. Oh my god! 
did. He said it out loud. Um, excuse me? Shit, I said it to her face. <laughs> I want to run away and never look back. Same. <laughs> Why is it still green? Oh, no. God. Okay. Okay. Kept to himself He's this probably time. like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> hey. It's Oda. <laughs> He's like, really, dude? <laughs> uh, where have you been? Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. That's what they all say. I don't say. know your normal routine. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. <laughs> that's a normal otaku thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why does he keep, like, backing me out? About Mizuki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? She didn't. You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. Well, <laughs> doesn't know I live with Mizuki. That's yeah. gonna be a hard one to explain. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? What's that mean? <laughs> questioning? That sounds dirty. No, it doesn't. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What? What kind of novels are you writing, kid? Yeah. <laughs> what? Listen, about Renju's case. I don't know anything. You know something. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is <laughs> plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. Oh no. <laughs> you don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait. It's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. <laughs> what you got, boy? <sighs> About Renju's case. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Out of the building? Alone? I guess Someone he heats up when him. he's nervous. A man. <laughs> Just using the thermal to be like... Okay. So I guess that means yes. No. Or no, no. I don't know yeah. how to read him. Um. Oh, I see. He's like, uh. Huh, okay. <laughs> I guess higher body okay, temperature look. means stress. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. I huh. got it. So Renju was with Iris. Huh. Interesting. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. When did you see this happen, right. by the way? Renju yeah. came out of the building with Tessa. Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. A savior. A savior. <laughs> the first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. First world problems, am I yeah. right? <laughs> then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. That's all it was? And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. Well, you know what? Good for you. That's actually... That attitude is something all great creators need to have. Hell yeah, dude. After yeah. that... I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And start becoming a little creepy at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. I guess it's Data. I have no room to judge, though, so. <laughs> a lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Comes out from the podcast covered in blood. Oh my god. <laughs> Slow down. I didn't say Iris was the murderer. Yeah, we just need to know why she was there. Her. 
I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. We need details. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. Exactly. What? Do it for Iris. What time did it? Yes. Yes. Shock the world Around and me. 6.15, I guess. <laughs> wasn't that after? Because wasn't it 6 o'clock was the time of death? No, I thought like it was like 6.50 was the time of death. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. Hmm. Reserved? What? What happened? Bro? Oh, hi. When'd you get here? Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm hmm? She's like, what? Let's go. Private talk. <laughs> so, did you kill him? No. <laughs> Back to police headquarters. Just full on police headquarters where we go and have this talk. <laughs> Interrogation. <laughs> well, yeah. Full on. <laughs> She was, like, the last person to see him, I think. At so. that point, apparently, yeah. So this is important. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth. And I would appreciate your cooperation. Okay. Can I look around a little bit first? Oh, security cameras. Security camera. This interrogation room has two surveillance cameras. This is one of them. The other is installed near the doorway. <laughs> the, this film is just going to have him looking at everything <laughs> randomly for a few seconds. <laughs> yeah. There are pipes on the walls of the room. That's still pipe. This is a desk. A desk in the middle of the room. Mirror. Woo. Two-way mirror. There's a small room on the other side of the mirror, but you can't see it from here. But everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> this room is reflected in the mirror. Hey, it's us. Hey. Ear. Camera. This is the camera used to record the interrogation. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. It is later saved permanently on our servers. You can remotely control it as well. Weird. Okay. That's one more look at it. Camera used for interrogation. Lens is facing Iris. All right, Iris. Let's chit chat. If I look at it quick, Iris looks nervous. It's understandable, of course, after suddenly being taken to a place like yeah. this. Um. Is Oak's story true? I feel like I should wait on that. I'll just start with, uh, do you have an alibi for last night? Oh, okay. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iba, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. But with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. Okay, so it was afterwards. Oh, Iris' story okay. is true. She couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... Uh... I was uh, asking about Oda's story true. Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. Damn. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Okay, that matches up. What about the, can I ask your mother about your alibi? Because that's continuing from what she said. Yeah. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. Hmm. This morning? 
Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Hmm. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Hmm. It's a great question. You got a lot more questions to ask, and we will ask those questions next time. Yeah, I don't think your mom could have killed him because of her, you know, situation. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of a, <laughs> kind of got a lot to work against if you're trying to be a killer with one working arm. Yeah. <laughs> But, but geez, there's 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 a lot to uncover here. Uh huh. You're hiding something I can tell through your face. <laughs> she just wants to go home. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. <laughs> you just want to go home and stream on Twitch or whatever it's called in this universe. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called or if it even said it. 